All right, guys, it's Friday, so you know what time it is. It's time for WTF. Let's get them. And this week, we have Edmund Kutun on the show. He appeared on the Digital Social Hour with Sean Mike Kelly. And I looked up this guy's credentials. He's basically an entrepreneur in solar energy. So I'm not sure why people are listening to him about diet drinks. But let's see what he has to say. 50% wow. of men over the age of 50 have early onset Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. And that's because of sugar-free drinks? Well, sugar-free options nowadays, they're all filled with artificial sweeteners that right. bypass the pancreas and go what? straight to your brain. Wait, so what? Diet sodas are way worse for you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Look at a Celsius oh, or any wow. energy drink you think is healthy that's sugar-free. Mm. You look at the can, you're going to see sucralose right there. <gasps> it's a chemical compound that cannot be decomposed. Scientists Wait, do decomposed? not know how to get rid of this stuff. You have to heat it up 367 degrees Fahrenheit to be able to get it back to its original form. Uh, Wait, what? Our bodies can't do that at all. No, so it just sits in sir. Yeah, so and it, it does nothing to there. prevent diabetes or anything like that. You're just changing the compound so you can put zero calories and zero sugar on a can. Mm -hmm. But it's actually way worse for you than real sugar. Whoa, there was a lot of fury in there. So to be fair, I reached out to Sean Mike Kelly and the Digital Social Hour, and they are willing to have me on, and we're working on coordinating it now. So hopefully I'll get out there and be able to be on the podcast. And I offered to debate Edmund. Uh, he declined. I think he knows... He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about, but decided to spew this stuff anyway. So that was a really big leap to say that this stuff causes Alzheimer's. He said it bypasses the pancreas and goes straight to your brain. Um, visible distress. There's so many, I can't even actually really debunk it because it's so stupid and wrong that I, like, it's hard to actually form a rebuttal, but I'll, I'll do my best. So uh, your pancreas releases insulin in response to blood glucose going up. Some people have said that uh, these artificial sweeteners will also raise insulin. Uh, we don't have any evidence of that uh, in isolation. So we, they don't appear to do that. But again, he's saying they bypass the pancreas. So I'm guessing he's saying they don't raise insulin. I don't know, but they go straight to your brain. Uh, most of them don't even get into circulation in appreciable amounts. And even if they did, you have this thing called the blood brain barrier, which keeps stuff out of your brain that it doesn't want. Otherwise, things like regular old amino acids like glutamate or aspartic acid could cause neurotoxicity. But they don't because your blood brain barrier keeps out the stuff it doesn't want in there. So if you had basic physiology, you know this. As far as him saying they're worse, there's no objective data to back that up. As we have reported over and over and over and over again until I'm blue in the face, the human randomized control trials show that people who consume artificially sweetened beverages in place of regular soda, because remember he's saying it's worse for you than regular soda, lose significant body fat, lose significant body weight, and their markers of insulin sensitivity and metabolic health all improve, as well as their markers of cardiovascular health and there's really very little evidence to suggest that these things cause any kind of disease. There is some evidence they change the gut microbiota. Some specific sweeteners change the gut microbiota like sucralose, but we don't know if that change is good, bad, or neutral. That has yet to be determined. Once again, first off, guys, so many of y'all sent me this. Why are you listening to a solar energy entrepreneur about like, things to do with biochemistry and physiology. Okay, I guess I'll go talk about solar energy and pontificate about solar energy, even though I don't know a fucking thing about it. Stay in your lane, but also, guys, it's also on you. It's really on you to not just see something on social media and be like, oh, somebody said it, it must be true. No, people say a lot of bullshit, in fact, Probably 99% of what you find on social media is bullshit. There was a study done recently looking at the claims of fitness influencers and the veracity of those claims. And huge shocker, get ready, I hope you're sitting down. The vast majority of the claims were found to be false. Wow. God, never would have guessed that. Big shout out to Sean Mike Kelly and the Digital Social Hour for actually being willing to have a discussion about this and bring me on. Hopefully, I'll be able to debunk a lot of this stuff as well as a lot of other claims in fitness. Hope you guys liked the video and I'll catch you next week.